Oh, there he is. Yeah, finally. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, nah, you good. No, this is good. So, you know, everybody know what's going on right now, right? There's a big hurricane and there's the response and stuff like that. Well, I was looking at sources sought and I mean, FEMA already put out contracts related to Hurricane Sally and right. It, it closes tomorrow morning. So you only got 12 hours to find a bidder. Well, basically, I don't know, Eric, you're in Tallahassee. That's well, you're near Tallahassee. You're near Florida. And that's the place of performance where they uh -huh. want to stage the gear before they do that. You know, long story short, I tried to contact, you know, some people from Herc Reynolds and stuff using my, uh, you know, my methods, my research methods. Yeah, I'm just here to jump on and see if anybody is in Florida. If you guys want to do this bid real fast, we have to respond by tomorrow morning. And it, it literally came out less than an hour ago. So you Get guys want to do that. I'll drop my email in there. And this is just from my estimates. You know, it's just a source of thought. So they don't tell you everything specific. They don't really tell you the technical requirements because it's hurricane. They just said, hey, we want this piece of gear. We want this piece of gear. It already looks like it's at least $300,000. Yeah, what are they looking for? What are they looking for? Uh, they're looking for they're looking for some pretty big generators, like generators. Uh, at least, yeah, generators, pumps, hoses. So pumps and hoses, you're looking at about 50 items. Uh, okay. As far as generators, you're looking at about 15. But these generators go all the way from 250 kilowatts to one of them that's all the way. I got up a bucket uh, mine that does generators. Okay, well that's but I don't two know separate you to your time. But you just again, I I mean. He, uh, Maria, John, put uh, connect connect Jr. with John Bowen. Definitely. Okay. All right. Yeah. And they're two separate solicitations. So uh, yeah, hey, he, does okay. generate, yeah. he actually is providing generators down here in Miami Dade County. Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. Here in Miami, and he does. He actually does generators. So outstanding. Yeah. I, okay. I can. I'll connect you with John. All right. Thanks a lot for let me. You know, talk to the group, Eric. Thanks. No, no, come on. Listen. Th this is the stuff we need to happen. Seriously, this is what people should be doing. So, all right. And so, as you see, my man Jr. Listen, I don't know when he started, but he came on and he's been like a firestorm. So he's been he came on. He's been consuming the content, bought the course, jumped in head first, helped his friends, told some of his friends about what we're doing out here. They landed some securities contract, and so he's been like just cranked up. I know when people are going to be successful. Oh, three weeks ago. There you go. Three weeks ago. I know when people are going to be successful. And, you know, when you see people that are doing activities, that are following what we talk about, this is how you get yourself in a position. Like you said, he's looking at stuff that's just coming out now about a hurricane that's hitting as we are speaking. Solve a problem. Solve a need. That's what I was trying to tell these guys today in the meeting. I'm like, dude, I don't do how you guys operate business. I'm following GAO reports, right? Most people don't even know what a GAO report is. I'm sure Demetrius knows what a GAO report is. JR probably knows what a GAO report is, right? GAO report, I tweet about this. If you go to my Twitter feed, you'll see I'm tweeting GAO reports. Like, what the hell? GAO, Government Accountability Office. Why am I looking at that? Because the Government Accountability Office is dinging agencies. They're dinging the federal agencies for not doing X, Y, Z, they're telling where there's shortfalls. They're telling them where there's problem areas at. And that's where you want to go and solve those problems and offer them up solutions. He's talking about a hurricane that's happening right now. That's solving a problem that they need a solution for because the, the hurricane's happening. So they need people to work on this today. They don't need you to talk about doing hurricane relief six months from now. The hurricane is happening today. That place needs to be cleaned up. This week, if you are living in Pensacola, the only thing you're thinking about is when is somebody coming to cut down these trees, fix up these power lines, clean up this debris, clean up this trash. That's the only thing that's on your mind. Not JR. JR is saying, hold up. They got a hurricane coming. Hmm. I smell an opportunity. Okay. I see. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Right? Not sitting here saying, well, I'm going to wait until the government puts out an RFP because I have 10 dump trucks. And all you people on here that do freight, logistics, you just asked about how do I get more trucking contracts. Are you looking at what JR just said? Are you looking at Source of Sot? You know why he knows Source of Sot? Because we talk about it. 
I preach, RFIs, source of thoughts, get ahead of the game. Get ahead. Don't wait until it comes out. Maria's contract that she just won today never made it to Beta Sam. It was a source of sought notice. She responded. They emailed her the opportunity directly. She negotiated. She got a word today. So that's that's how you get ahead of it, right? So if you're still watching, my man who asked me about the five things to do, that's he said he even used one of the templates. It works. <laughs> Look, I tell people, use my words, use my templates, use everything. Like, don't even change it. They don't know it's me. They don't even know me. Like, just use the stuff. I don't care. I, it, that's why it's here. That's what That's what I'm talking about. So, look, let's go back to what Maria just put on screen. Going back to what we talked about, be prepared, no contracting, relationships, relationships, and then find your lane. And that's what he's doing. He's, you know, again. Be prepared, right? Because I'm sure if you respond to that for Hurricane Sally, they're going to call you. They need generators. They're going to call you, right? I'm sure, M Maria, where's our boy Brocco Oil at? Where's Brocco Oil? Louisiana, right now, where there's fires. He's out there. They're filling up generators. So, again, uh, for everyone that's listening who's new, you know, follow these things. It's a great question that someone asked. The five things to do and so you know be prepared no contracting relationships relationships and find your lane so hey look with that said i'm gonna sign off because i'm on here a lot longer than i thought i'm sweating i had some ramen and it was a little bit spicy so jr we will connect with you we'll definitely put you in contact with my man john bowen send us over the source of thought so we can look at it that way in case we have somebody else that comes to mind you know just send them your way as well all right hello everyone eric coffee here and i know what you're thinking eric how do i get more and that's why we created govconedu.com so visit us over at govconedu.com that's the platform that i've created where i've curated more than a dozen plus courses on wide ranging topics from staffing janitorial to it we're discussing how to become a prime subcontractor, how to get involved, how to do simplified acquisition, what is a debriefing, what does that look like? I've taken all of my best of the best work that I've done and we put it into a collection of courses that are now being hosted over on the platform govconedu.com. So sign up today for one low cross subscription base and you can get access to more than a dozen plus courses.